Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to use the new filter function that's in Office 365's version of Excel. So with this function I will be able to make a copy of all of these columns based on a criteria that I'm trying to find. So for my first one I'm going to try and pull out all the records for Andrew Fuller. So if I create the filter function and I'll press insert function so we get the argument box you'll see there are three boxes potentially to fill in our two mandatory boxes are our array and what we want to include the if empty is when we want our own custom error message when it doesn't work so my array is going to be my whole data set so from B3 all the way through to G2157 now for my include, I have to select the cells where I'm looking for something, so that's going to be the salesperson values, and then if I put an equals in, I can then reference the cell, I've got Andrew Fuller's name in. You could put speech marks and type a value in there, I'm doing it this way just to give me the ease to be able to change that and show you what happens when the person isn't on the list. Now if I press OK, you'll see I get my records. Now what would happen if I put someone in place of Andrew who wasn't on the list? I get this error message hash calc. Now if I want a nicer error message than that, this is where I would fill in the if empty. So I'm gonna put no records found. Okay, so let's try that again. Let's put my name in. And now we get a much nicer error message. Now what happens if you want to filter your um, data down using multiple criteria? Well, that can be done. Um, and anyone who's done if formulas using and and or, it's, we have that functionality here in this filter, but it's not by adding the AND function in, or the OR function. To do an AND, what I would do is I would go back to the filter function, and that first question that I've done, I'd put that inside a set of traditional brackets. What I would then do, is I would put an asterisk in, and the asterisk is like the AND function, so it allows me to now ask another question and the result of both questions has to be true in order to get a result. So with this, it would be Andrew in the salesperson column and Argentina in the country column. I'll put another open bracket in. I'm now gonna select all of my countries. And then just like I did for the salesperson, I'm gonna put an equals at the end. I'm gonna reference the cell with Argentina in. So now that I've done that, if I close my bracket, you'll see I only get the two rows that relate to Andrew and Argentina. If I went back and changed the asterisk to a plus, this is the equivalent of R. So if I now press enter, you'll see I get all of Andrew's records, no matter what country, and then a bit further down, I'll probably get all the Argentina ones. go further down there we go we're getting quite a few Argentina ones that don't relate to Andrew okay I'm gonna put it back to the the R one now final thing what happens if you don't want to take all of the columns that you've got visible so I've got country salesperson product name unit price quantity and extended price Let's say what I want to filter out of it is just the country, the salesperson, and the extended price. So for that, what we would need to do is put this filter inside of another filter. So the array this time is the full filter formula that we've already got. If I then get to the end and put a comma in, what I now need to do is put the curly bracket in and by using ones and zeros, I need to show it which columns I want. So as I want country, I'm gonna put a one in. 
put a comma in. I want salesperson, put a one in. I don't want product, so after the comma, I'm going to put a zero. I'm going to put another zero because I don't want the unit price. I'm going to put another zero because I don't want quantity. And then I'm going to put a one for the extended price. And again, I'll close that curly bracket. I'm going to put a comma in, and at that point, I'm just going to put speech marks in for the if it doesn't find anything. So if I close my bracket now and I press enter, you'll see I now only get the three columns that I've asked for. You need to be really careful when you're doing this, guys. If you put more ones and zeros in than you've got columns, you'll get an error message. So you do need to be careful when you're doing this. Okay, guys, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, can you give me a thumbs up? And please remember, if you like my videos and want to see more of them, press the subscribe button. Uh, that way, when I put a new video out, YouTube will let you know. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.